Hello, I'm Varun, a senior cloud security engineer at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to show you how to optimize prompts and use features in Amazon Bedrock to get more consistent and reliable responses. Let's get started. Once you are in AWS console, navigate to Amazon Bedrock. First, select the right foundation model for your use case. Amazon Bedrock provides access to multiple pre-trained foundation models such as Amazon Titan, Anthropic Cloud, and Mistral. Depending on the use case, you can select the required foundation model. Navigate to the left pane here, scroll to the bottom, and click on Model Access. Here we can see all the models to which we have the access. We can also adjust the model inference parameters such as temperature and top P to reduce randomness. Let's navigate to Chat Playground. We'll select the model. In this case, we are selecting Claude 3 Sonnet. And on the right side, we can see the inference parameters which are there. For example, temperature, top P. We can also use compare mode to test different models in the chat playground. Let's select the model here. Claude 2. Now we'll run the same prompt for both the foundation models here and compare the consistency of response across both the models. We can choose the foundation model with more deterministic behavior. For more advanced testing, we can use model evaluation jobs. Click on model evaluation under assessment. We'll create a new job. We'll select the model here. Task type would be general text generation. And we'll set other required parameters. This is the location of the S3 bucket where the results of the model evaluations are stored. Use an existing execution rule. And we will use an existing rule for this job. Click on Create. Next, create clear and specific prompts that limit open-ended outputs. For example, we'll come to Chat Playgrounds, select a model, and then we can insert our text here. This prompt clearly defines the model's role, provide instructions, and limit the scope, all which can increase the chances of deterministic response. If the pre-trained foundational model does not meet your need, then customize them through fine-tuning. Prepare a data set, fine-tune the foundational model on it, and evaluate the performance, and repeat this process until you get the result that you expect. The fine-tuning can be done by changing the configuration of the foundational model. You can also combine and refine outputs from multiple foundational models using ensemble techniques and post-processing tasks to improve reliability. Or you can use prompt chaining to break down complex tasks into subtasks with their own prompts. To showcase an example for prompt chaining, let's go to step functions. I have already created step function here. Here in the graph view, you can see that we are invoking the model with first prompt, then adding the result to the conversation history, invoking the model with second prompt, adding the second result to the conversation history, and invoking the model with the third prompt. Let's try to execute this. And these are the three prompts that we are using. The prompt 1, prompt 2, and prompt 3. Prompt 1 is name a random city. You must provide a non-fictitious city. You must only provide the city's name followed by a comma and the city's country of origin. Prompt 2 is write two or three sentences describing the city mentioned above. And prompt 3 is write three to four sentences describing about the city mentioned above. Click on start execution. The execution has finished and we can see the input and the output now. The result 3 is about 
the city of Rome and it describes about the first two prompts that we had added in the execution. Finally, set up guardrails to control foundation model responses, block topics, filter content, remove words, and hide sensitive information consistently across foundational models. Let's navigate to guardrails under safeguards. Click on create guardrail. It will give it a name, malicious actor, and the response for the block prompt would be, sorry, the model cannot answer this question. Click on next. If we want to select harmful categories, we can select that and we can also select the prompt attacks. Add denied topic. In this case, I'm using hack. Confirm. And I'm also adding filters here for the words or phrases. There's no PI information on rejects pattern. Click on next. And you can review the configuration and click on create guardrail. To test it, select the model. Click on apply. Type the prompt. Click on run. And you can see the response. Sorry, the model cannot answer this question. We can see the response here. These are the different categories which were put into action to block the prompt. First one, deny topic. Second, content filter. Again, content filter. And then, word filters. So now you know how to optimize prompts and use features in Amazon Bedrock to get more consistent and reliable responses. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.